Hi, it's Will from StormyCastle.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a medieval flail. You know, one of those kinds of maces that has chain on it and you swing it around with a ball on it. So this kind of gives you an idea. So let me show you what we use. Now, one of the most important things I want to do about this mace is I want to make it very safe. And um, this is only for ornamental purposes and you should never, of course, swing this at someone. And you should be very careful when you're swinging it. The most important thing we want to do is have safety here. And for that, we want to make sure the ball never comes off the chain or the, or the stick. So that's very important. Always keep that in mind. We don't want that to break apart if you swing it. And never try to hit anyone with it. Uh, so let me go over the materials we have here. We're going, to, we're going to need a drill to drill a hole in our handle. So we have um, some sheets of paper, newspaper, scissors, some cardboard, some type of string. Uh, this twine is really nice, but you can use almost any kind of string. It should be reasonably strong. Some paints and glue, masking tape, electrical tape, a uh, brush, and some kind of a wooden handle. I got this from an old shovel, so you can use, um, it's 15 inches long, so a 15 inch piece of dowel, a round wood, um, a shovel, a broomstick handle, and if you can get some, some plastic chain. Now I'm going to paint this plastic chain black. I got this at Home Depot. Um, they sell it by the foot, so get yourself a, a foot, a foot and a half of that plastic chain. If you can, uh, if you can't, we, 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 I'm going to just show you how to use just string instead of the chain, but the chain makes a nice touch. Okay, the first thing you do is you get yourself a couple of sheets of newspaper and you crumple it up into a ball. Not too tight. Don't pack it down real, real tight. You don't want this thing so heavy because the heavier it is, the more dangerous it is, you know, if you happen to accidentally hit yourself with it or hit somebody with it. So just pack it up nice, roughly in the shape of a ball, and throw a couple of wraps of masking tape on it so it keeps its shape. Now you take your string or your twine and you wrap that around that ball several times at various angles, at least three or four times, and tie it every time at the bottom here. Because what you want, you want to make sure this, the rope isn't going to, the, the string isn't going to slip off the ball. And if you have it in various positions, it'll never slip off. And once you do that, you tape it again. Tape over that string so it's all nice and held in a good position. So, you, so that string is everywhere, and um, it's really, really tight. It's not going to come off. Now, if you have um, plastic chain, like I have, as you're tying the string around the ball, run it through a loop of your plastic chain every time. So every loop goes through the first link of that chain. Can you see that? Every loop goes through that. And that'll make it nice and strong. And then you tape over it like this. So now this thing is just about ready for us to um, attach to the handle and to, um, to decorate. So it's a pretty simple process, but the most important thing is you make it nice and strong. You do not want that, that ball to fly off at any point. And you, <clears throat> you do not want the chain to separate or to come off the handle because that's a safety issue. So this is just for ornament, for a Halloween costume, or for just um, when you're wearing a costume, or just for show. Don't don't use this to um, hit anybody, or be, and be careful when you're swinging. You could hurt yourself too. Okay, let me show you now how I attach that chain or the string to the to the um, to the handle. I've, I've drilled a I've drilled a hole here in the handle, a nice thick hole. I think it's about a quarter of an inch, at least a half an inch away from the end. You, want, you don't want the, the, the string to break out of the hole, so keep it away from the end and drill yourself a nice big hole. And then pass several passes of your string through there, and with each pass, pass it through your, your, the, the end of your chain. It's as simple as that. And then put a layer of tape over it like this, so there's no wear on that. So that's easy enough. I've got this attached to my chain, and uh, that's what I do. I put tape on there, and I put tape on the other end, but that's going to be part of the ornament. So next, I want to show you how to make the little spikes that's going to go on there. See, I've already made one spike here that we're going to either tape or glue right on that ball. And that's what makes the, um, the thing look so medieval, is you get these spikes on there. So you're going to make at least half a dozen of them or so. See that? And that'll look really good once we've got it all painted up and done. But here's a quick, a quick overview of how we make those spikes. Take your masking tape roll. Take two, two sheets of paper, draw a circle on the inside of the roll there, and then cut that out. Doesn't have to be exact. Now 
that's two sheets of paper there. Now fold it in half, like that roughly. Now all you have to do to make your cone is just fold this into a cone. See it? See that? And it's a cone. Simple as that. So make up uh, six or eight of those and tape this down and I, I completely cover it with tape. Tape it down and then we will attach them to the ball. I've um, made my cones, I made a bunch of them and I taped them onto the ball, like that, onto the head of the mace. See it looks pretty good. And I've also made smaller cones, I used a smaller circle and I made more points for the actual handle of the flail. See like that, so I made four for the top and four for the bottom and I need to tape that a little bit more. But that adds a little bit of a detail there to the flail. So um, now the next thing I gotta do is paint this up. So I'm gonna paint it up and show you what it looks like. Okay, and there we have it, the completed mace. I painted the whole thing black first, and then I used masking tape to mask off uh, the ends here, and then I painted those in silver. So, there's the flail, it's kind of uh, medieval looking. The black is really nice in the chain. And uh, I had a lot of fun, so um, it's easy to make. You can make one too, but always be careful and safe with something like this. Never swing it at anybody. And these things can be dangerous. If you swing them in somebody's face, you can damage someone's eye. So never swing this at anybody. And that includes yourself. You can actually hurt yourself with this. So this is strictly for ornament, for a costume or something like that. Um, i got plenty more projects on my website at www.stormthecastle.com. Uh, thanks for watching.